Hello everybody and welcome you to this video on this fine day. Here we are in Ireland in a place called um, Balting Glass in the countryside in West Kent Wicklow and I was gonna make, I've just asked a butcher's guy um, about the bus that's going home to where I live you know um, so there's a butcher's there and let's have a quick look around yeah so the reason why welcome to the video anyway I know it's unusual to blow a kiss but uh, yeah let's uh, talk about why I'm making the video. I'm making the video because um, a lot of people are against butchers and this video is about not being against something. Um, for example the man I asked in there I'm sure he he's working for his family and like I have honor and love and respect for that guy like he he is friendly and he is kind and the thing is, a lot of people would like just have just dishonor and disrespect for somebody working in a butcher's, like vegetarians, for example, or vegans or raw foodists, maybe. And uh, the thing is, I don't. It's not nice to be like against uh, people, and to, it's always nice to like pay honor and respect. Um, we have to understand, really. We we can. We don't have to, but we we have the opportunity, the opening to understand where people are coming from. Like that guy is uh, working for his family. Like he's he probably maybe he doesn't know where meat comes from. Or maybe he does. Maybe he just doesn't feel it empathet empathetically, empathically that like, you know the feelings for the animal. And maybe he just feels he's no other option. Maybe it's inherited. We all do mad stuff, and I'm not trying to excuse mad stuff. But I'm saying there's a reason for things in life. Um, it, it's it's not exactly um, very nice to be judging and uh, disrespecting and condemning when we don't even know the details. Because you know, me personally, I grew up before. Like I grew up, uh, the, and I was only 15 when the internet came in. So it was before the internet age. So when the internet age came in, I it only hit hard in around when I was in my early 20s, maybe. But but before that is like the dark ages almost. <laughs> so um, like I didn't even hear about vegetarianism until I was like 22 or something or 23. So I never he I never met a vegetarian or a vegan or a raw foodist before the age of 23. I never heard about it. I never saw media about it. I never saw all these like vegetarian like food like alternatives. So like. You know, you can't. Some I could have been working in the butchers. You know, I could have been working in there, and then people could have been like going around uh, judging me and like being mean and unkind and unfriendly to me, and that wouldn't have been very nice. So, the lesson here, one of the lessons is before you judge, understand, or before you judge, ask. So if you're not sure in your relationship or whoever the relationship is with somebody, generally just ask them instead of springing to an assumption or a judgment, a close-hearted attack. I have to go over there in a few minutes. <laughs> so uh, yeah that's all I really wanted to say. So uh, I do hope like whenever you look at whatever industry you don't like that you aren't too quick to judge and you have sensitivity and love and compassion for the person. And I'm not, I'm not wishing this for me, I'm actually wishing this for you. So I'm actually not wishing um, I'm not trying to change you, for me, not in the slightest bit, I really am not like us, you know, yourself, like, I am not probably going to meet you and, well, maybe I am, like, <laughs> but, like, let's go around here, like, by you changing a little bit, it probably won't affect my life, but if you change a little bit, it'll affect your life a lot, the health store. So, so it's good to remember guys that we change for ourselves first and foremost and when we ch positively change we live with it 24 hours a day but some other people sometimes around us they live with it they get to experience that positive change within us I didn't want, like, I'd never want to be angry outside that butchers like thinking angry thoughts you know like the world is the way it is and it's changing but it is the way it is for a reason and it's changing <laughs> so we're not stuck in a place but we can create positive change I should probably go before the bank closes but
final message is like, don't forget to ground your spirituality. Like, so I go to the bank, you know what I mean? Like, it, spirituality isn't all about like bliss and uh, enlightenment and uh, meditation and uh, love and oneness and all that stuff. Well, unless it means something in actual daily, real life, just ordinary daily trappings of the physical body and going to the toilet and having a shower and <laughs> like we, we're physical beings as well and uh, if you don't actually um, we've come here for a reason into the physical it's not to not to escape the physical that's 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 not true some people are trying to like feel bad and hate the earth and escape but that's another story anyway but I hope you have a nice day and uh, wishing you a pleasant day with some peace and happiness in it Take care and have a bit of fun as well. Okay, see you next time. God bless. Bye. Hello, you're Yeah, I'm yeah, making a video. How are you? <laughs>